<laughs> what a catchy intro that is. Let's grab him right away. Take him for a ride. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that song I wrote after going to Vegas for the first time. It was uh, 1977. I stayed at the Thunderbird Hotel, one of the old hotels when Vegas was Vegas before it turned into Disneyland. And the kids' streets are crawling with kids. But back then, it was an adult place still. And I stayed at the Thunderbird with his arches and his pastel colors and his wonderful vibe. Uh, and I <clears throat> continue to go to Vegas for years. I was there last weekend. We had a sold-out show in Vegas last, last weekend. And I, this is one of the few songs, and I wrote about my experience, it's about a gambler, a lady that likes to gamble. So I was coming back from Vegas, sitting down with a great guitar, do -do 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 off the top. And I just had the blank piece of paper, started writing about a lady likes to gamble too much. But this is one of the few songs that April Wine ever took on the road before recording. And this song was a lot more complicated than we know it. There was a lot more to it. Now, if you listen to it with this in mind, it pedals a lot on the key, on the on the that E string, that low E string. Wonderful guitar work here. We could do this with three guitar players, and it's all mathematical. The music is math. Here's math. I'll show you what I mean. Three guys, four parts. Now we go into the solos. Me first. Oh no, here's math. Together. Together. Together, stop. Like that. It's math, it's always math. Math, uh, math and uh, music, bedfellows. So, yeah, just full of licks, just full of ear candy, this one, and it just rocks. And the engine, we did it at the studio up north in Montreal, the, the famous the studio. And the engineer was Nick Blagona, again, one of our great engineers ever. So we put it all together, but we took it on the road, having not recorded it. And we simplified a very, very complex song and brought it down to lots of pedals with accents at certain parts. Especially in the verses. So Frank Sinatra once said, I won't take a song on the road till I get to know it. I won't take it in the studio till I get to know it on the road. This is what he was talking about. You don't really get comfortable with a song until you spend some time with it. And I wish I had the luxury of doing it all my songs, but I don't. Especially today, because if I take something new on stage, somebody's out there filming it, recording it, and the next thing my song is stolen. Those days are dead, gone. And it's really a pity. And I write for stage all the time. You hear that bye, 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 bye? That's on purpose. This is the end of the night, folks. We're leaving the stage. Bye, 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 bye. All has a reason. <laughs>